I'm your host, Biko at Vocalo Radio. We are backstage at Lollapalooza, and I got a special guest with me by the name of Tanache. Hi. How's it going? I'm good. How you feeling? I'm very excited for today. Today's going to be fun. Is this your first Lollapalooza? It is. And I have a lot of family that live in the area, cousins and stuff, who have been coming for years, being like, when are you going to perform at Lala? So you got Chicago roots. I do. Well, yes, family is here. So they're <laughs> they're coming today. Hey, I'm very excited. Now, oh, you, okay, what, what side of the city is your family from? You know what? I don't even know. It's all good. Look, I'm from the west side, and we gonna have them claim west, <laughs> south, east, north. It's Chicago. The whole, the whole city. You feel, <laughs> you feel me? Uh, I, I gotta ask you though. When it comes down to these festivals, how are you prepping for festival season? Well, I mean, festivals are kind of a different breed than doing my own show. So you have to keep in mind that there's going to be people in the audience who may not be 100% familiar with all of your music. It's not like your own show. So it kind of gives you the opportunity to experiment with some of your different vibes to give people a very well-rounded sense of who you are as an artist. And that's always fun. And I got to ask you, too, you know, you're independent now. I am. How does it feel being independent and taking the stage at Lollapalooza? You know, it's I'm just very thankful that I have such an amazing fan base that I'm able to continue to operate at such a high level as an independent artist because it is certainly not easy oh, without man. the help of a label and this and that. But it's also very fulfilling. What's some of those difficulties that you've uh, come across now that you are independent? I mean, first of all, funding. You have to fund basically everything yourself. You don't get that major label like budget for your album so music videos touring shows like this rehearsals all that kind of comes out of pocket so you have to work a little harder to invest in yourself and then on top of that i would say there's just there's definitely some spaces that the major label system kind of has a monopoly over so it's just kind of hard to break into those spaces as an independent artist whether that be playlist radio but you know, we we're hustling yeah. and we're here. And Thankful here. we having yeah. great interviews like this. Hey, appreciate you. And also, I mean, we spoke on some of the cons. Let's talk about the pros yep. of being independent. Okay, the pros. The pros are you get creative freedom. You get to release whenever you want, whatever you want. And I think for people who feel deep down there, so that they're like a true artist, it's like the only way to operate without feeling every time like you're like selling your soul because they make you compromise. You know, when you're in these. I hear that relationship a lot. Yeah, I yeah. hear that a lot I hear that term sell your soul a lot yeah so it, it you have the freedom to really be the boss of yourself and that's the biggest know, thing the ever, biggest thing it? now today is a special day because yep. Calvin Harris released a single oh, yeah with you on it it's called yeah. new to you yeah so so cool Normani's on that offsets on it me Calvin Harris, of course. Do you still get that same excitement when new music releases, even if including yours? Totally. I mean, when I drop my own projects, obviously, like, it's a little bit more pressure and anticipation than when you are dropping a song that's someone else's, technically. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> especially when it's a whole album versus a single. But today, still super, super duper excited for this new song. Check it out. It's called New To You. Are you going to play it at all? Oh, I... I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready to put it in the set today. I should have planned that in advance better. But, you know, hopefully soon I can integrate that. Now, a joint that got me in tune with you, uh, Snake Hips. Oh, all, all my, my friends. friends. Mm -hmm. With the homie Chance the Rapper. Yep. And today Chance released a new ice cream. I don't oh, know he if did. you like ice cream. That sounds good. would you good. be willing to try his ice cream Definitely. Now? That sounds intriguing. You know, I is there anything special about it? Or it's I just don't like know. Look, chance I'm just ice cream. Like you just All right, cool. <laughs> Send me some chance. Can we Hook see, us up. Can we see a, a possible feature with you and Chance in the, the near yeah, future? Yeah, I think that would be awesome. We have a really cool relationship. He's a cool guy, so it would be someone I would love to circle back and collaborate with I'm again. I'm pretty sure he may see this too. So yeah, hopefully you check know it what out. I'm <laughs> and while we're talking about you know features, yep. while you're here at Lala, have you bumped into anybody that you've been a strong supporter of? I literally just got here and started doing interviews so I haven't really seen anyone yet. But I'm planning on hanging out the rest of the day, so hopefully I run into some. Are you uh, anybody you excited to see outside of yourself? Um, I'm excited to see Dua Lipa. Okay. I've never seen her live before. I'm excited to see Don Tolliver. Okay. I love his music. Very excited. Yeah, those are probably my top two of the day. Hopefully you bump into them. And hopefully, then we can get some hopefully. features from you. Right. Now, More another, collabs. another feature, Jeremiah. Yes. Uh, on my song X. Yes. And I feel like Jeremiah don't receive the proper roses and to see that you've linked with him on your 30, yeah. your 333 album yes I gotta give you roses for that because oh, thank you 
you really He's re- amazing. you rock Chica- you really rock with a lot of Chicago artists. Yeah, that's that's true. You know that you mentioned. Is there it. something to that? Is it a <laughs> maybe, scientific maybe. type of? You know, y'all are talented. I think Jeremiah is super super talented. Super, you know, his m- melodies and his lyrics and how melodic he is, and even his voice is got such a cool tone so he's been someone i've always we've worked together in the past before and we collaborated with a lot of the same people and it just mm-hmm. felt like the perfect time to make that happen on my song x now lastly before i let you go so you yeah. can hit the stage and i can enjoy your performance uh what songs do you currently have on repeat of yourself you know as an artist sometimes we don't really play our music yeah you know you don't, i'm true. pretty sure you don't really play a lot of your music but not is there really a specific song unless i'm working you, on it <laughs> that you have on repeat that you would like for others to you know stream and really get in tune that touch your soul sure i mean the song that i just released that i'm most excited about is called hit me up for a good time it features channel trace who's a really dope artist and it's on the deluxe version of my album 333 which recently dropped so check that one out that's that's like my summer vibe can you give a little background on the creation of i of just wanted singing? to put something out that kind of had like that house energy that you could dance to in the club and i feel like it was like right on time with yeah. like this whole everyone's dabbling in house now which is amazing so fun for the summer we love it i think house is the new wave it's, new it's wave. all about getting off that wall and dancing let's nowadays do it get, get up and oh and uh, oh <laughs> You and <laughs> Kate Trinata? Oh, yes. Oh my Another God. amazing, amazing artist. Y'all got some vibes. Thank you. To, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, we got a lot of chemistry in the studio, which is which is super great. Yes, He's y'all awesome. do. And, uh, I mean, with that being said, I appreciate you sitting down with us. Thank I'm you about very to much. Make sure I catch your performance. Please do. I got to go get dressed. <laughs> get ready. Oh, so you're not this wearing isn't this? Even my, this isn't my <laughs> stage outfit. This is my backstage outfit. Well, look, you're looking good. Thank you. I'll be seeing you on stage. It's Biko signing out with Vocalo. Thank you.